What bourbons have we been able to pick up lately? Here's our top 10. Let's get into it. That's art. That is a work of art. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. My name is Arthur. And I'm Scott. And this is Artfully Bourbon. Hall. We haven't tried all these new bottles, but at the end of the episode, we will open up one and try it for the first time. Thank you to everyone who voted on the YouTube and social polls. You selected the one we're gonna open today. And we'll announce the winner at the end of this show, so stick around to find out. Okay, Scott, what is your first bottle in this haul? Okay, we're gonna start with Heaven's Door Single Barrel. Uh, the bottle design is pretty similar to the others from Heaven's Door. The ironwork is by Bob Dylan, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's okay. We aren't huge fans of Celebrity Bourbon, but we had to try the single barrel from Bob Dylan's Heaven's Door. Yeah, we've tried Heaven's Door Standard Bourbon Whiskey Expression that comes in at 92 proof, but weren't really that impressed. Um, so we have yeah. yet to crack into this one, but you know, we're excited to, to try it since it's a higher proof, at, um, I think 124. Is that what yeah, it's right. 124 proof, all right. This one is also distilled in Tennessee and Indiana. Okay, next one. We got Redwood Empire Grizzly Beast. What a great name. It is. Speaking of which, did you know that it gets its name from two trees in Northern California? The Grizzly Giant and the Mad Old Beast. I love that they name their bourbons after big giant trees. And you probably know by now, I love Redwood Empire. This bottle looks really similar to other Redwood Empire expressions, but it has a more colorful label and I love the illustrations they have on their bottles. This one's a bottle and bond bourbon and the purest expression of the Redwood Empire lineup. It's a pretty rare bottle. Uh, it's a bottle that comes um, from just 70 barrels. And since it's a bottled and bond, it's a perfect 100 proof. So if you saw our bourbon hunting in Springfield, you saw us pick this one up already. This is the Old Elk Double Wheat. Yeah, we are fans of Old Elk. Love the experiments the master distiller Greg Metz is doing. And this bottle, it's beautiful. Nice. I love the design of these bottles and definitely the corks. Yeah, I, I do too. We have yet to try this one though. It's a straight whiskey from their Master's Blend series. This one is a blend of their weeded bourbon and weeded whiskey. And the mash bill is 71.5% wheat 25% corn and 3.5% barley. Even though it's probably smooth, it still comes in at 107 proof. Scott is a wheat freak, so this one's for you, buddy. And to top it off, this one also won double gold at the 2022 San Francisco World Spirits competition. Now, I'm really curious about this one. I can't wait. Let's hopefully open it soon. All right, next one we got is Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. We picked this one up after seeing it for the first time in the middle of the country. No water is added to this one, so really looking forward to trying it. And I have heard some great things. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this bottle design. It's got that cool like amber color glass, which you don't see a lot. Yeah, it's cool. Um, it's unique and it comes with a smoke wagon wax medallion right there in the middle. It's really cool. So smoke wagon uh, comes from Las Vegas, Nevada. And this bottle is batch 190A and it's 115 proof. Yeah, this one has won several awards over the last few years, making it increasingly popular. Um, it won double gold at the San Francisco yeah. World Spirits Competition, 2017, 2020, and 2021. 
And since we have never seen Smoke Wagon in person before, we also had to pick up some other bottles. The small batch and the straight rye. Should we review these in a future episode? Let us know in the comments. All right, next we picked up the Remus Repeal Reserve Series 7. What do you think of this bottle? I've seen worse. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But what is what is wrong with the label? I don't know. That's what you call the old slap job. I don't know if you can see this or not, but that label is like way off center. <laughs> I think this batch of bottles maybe missed the machine that centers the labels. Or they hired a three-year-old. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, not a great label, but this series first started in 2015 or so. The first four Remus Repeal Reserve series, you know, weren't that popular, mainly because there was a lot of other barrel strength MGP bourbon in the market at a similar age statement and a similar price. Yeah, they, they really started to take off around 2021, I think, uh, with the series five. Uh, last year's Series 6, um, released out of Ross & Squibb Distillery, was really like a heavy hitter um, for the price point. Yeah. Um, I know. So, really good. yeah. I mean, I just had to pick up the Series 7. So, This series is a blend of two high rye bourbon recipes from multiple years and also includes five bourbons in total. So, they range from 9 to 16 years old. Yeah and it's 100 proof. It has to be good. All right, on to the next one. We also got Jefferson's Tropics. This one has been all the talk lately. Then we had FOMO and had to try it ourselves. This bottle is, you know, pretty standard Jefferson's bottle. It looks nice. Uh, I like the shape of these. And what is this? Is that Singapore on the back? To be honest, most times I see a Jefferson's, I just kind of keep on walking. Um, but true. <laughs> thought we'd try this one. You know, still trying to, to decide if Jefferson's is innovative or just kind of gimmicky. Yeah, I mean, this one, the Kentucky bourbon barrels are shipped all the way to Singapore and shipped back to the US after 18 months of the heat and humidity. You know, I do like the explorer of nature of this one, but still no. Well, I, I do like that it's 104 proof. I, I'll, I'll take it, yeah, I like it. All right, All right. what's next? Next, we picked up Kentucky Owl Takumi Edition. Um, we actually got a steal on this one. Yeah. Uh, my wife found it at Costco for an incredible price. And this is Kentucky Owl's second limited edition release. And speaking of exploring new places, this one is a collaboration of Kentucky and Japanese whiskey. It's a Kentucky bourbon blended um, by a man named Yahisa Yasuke, Japanese master blender. Yeah. To resemble something that might come from Japan. Yeah, and this blend includes a four, five, six, and a 13 year old bourbon. I've heard this is a work of art. I have heard great things. It has to be at 100 proof. I can't wait to crack this one open for a pour. Same here. All right, next we have High West Campfire. Okay, let's keep traveling. Who's ready for a smoky bourbon? <laughs> this High West Campfire is the world's first blend of scotch, bourbon, and rye. And while some of the ingredients still come from MGP, this one comes with some of High West's own rye. And the campfire is 92 proof. This one is definitely unusual, but one of my favorites from High West. All right, next we picked up Still Austin, 
single barrel cask strength. You know, Arthur is a big fan of Still Austin. So when we saw the single barrel cask strength, we just had to get it. Yes, I love Still Austin. The limited release bottle is beautiful as well. You know, it's similar to their others, but this one features the dark sky version of the musician with the added single barrel label info along the bottom. Yeah, I and I really love the art by Mark Burkhart. It's awesome. The Still Austin cast strength has also won double gold the last two years at the San Francisco World Spirits competition. And this beautiful bottle is 116 proof. Mm. Yeah, I re highly recommend anything from Still Austin. Okay, we also picked up a Parker's Heritage Collection. This one we got in an allocated lottery. Yeah, it, it wasn't our top choice, but um, we're really happy that we had the opportunity uh, you know, to pick this one up. Yeah, very few of these get released each year by Heaven Hill, and it is made in honor of late master distiller Parker Bean. So Parker was at Heaven Hill for 56 years and uh, struggled with ALS for seven years before passing. This bottle is a tribute to Parker's expertise to the distillery. Part of the proceeds from each bottle goes to support ALS research. Yeah, and this one is the 16th edition of the Parker's Heritage Collection from 2022. It is a double barreled whiskey, a blend of some of the best 13 and 15 year old bourbons from Heaven Hill. Yeah, and this one is 132.2 proof. Whoa. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yes, this one we'll be saving for a special occasion. We can share it with friends. I'm ready to try one of these. Give us those poll results. All right, again, thanks for everyone who voted. We love to hear from you all. Here are the combined average results from our social channels and the YouTube poll, which you can find in the community tab. All right, let's open the beast. The Redwood Empire Grizzly Beast. All right, so this one is a straight bourbon whiskey, comes from California and is bottled in bond. Something we love. This one is batch number three from the spring 2018 distilling season. It's 68% corn, 20% rye, 5% wheat, 5% barley, and 2% triticale, which is a hybrid of wheat and rye. What? All right, let's try this one. Little, yeah little wood like kind of tree bark uh, there's like not a lot going on here yeah. there's some sweetness to it but I mean I agree it's it's kind of like you know yeah there's it's not a lot not a lot, not on, a lot on those okay let's taste it oh wow wow that's good. Maple, I get a lot of maple is what I get first. Yeah, it's like a sweet maple syrup. Maple and cinnamon. It's kind of warm, spicy, uh, cinnamon. Man, that's good. Yeah, towards the end, it does get a little warm. I really like this and just that hug. Yeah, got a good hug. It's really nice. Good finish. All right, so that's the show. We're off to drink more of this. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, we have an announcement. We have a new series coming out this Thursday. And every Thursday. So join us for a little battle. A little. Finish him. Oh. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And hit the subscribe button 
and join this artfully bourbon community. Thanks for watching. Until next time, enjoy responsibly. Peace. Scott, what do you think of this bottle? <laughs> I mean, what do you really think of it?